Today, the woman in charge of unemployment benefits in Maine stepped up to the microphone at the daily COVID-19 briefing to answer some tough questions about that. New Center Maine's Don Carrigan has more on what Labor Commissioner Laura Fortman and Maine CDC Director Dr. Nirav Shah had to say this afternoon. Don? Hi, Pat. Still don't have a precise answer to when self-employed people will be getting their benefits, but they'll get a little bit more news early, sometime next week. So aside from the frustrations of all those apply, trying to get regular unemployment benefits, which Com Labor Commissioner Laura Fortman says she understands, self-employed uh, people like that truck driver have been very frustrated that the special program created for them by the federal government called Pandemic Assistance Benefits still isn't available yet. Uh, the uh, Commissioner Fortman said the program has a lot of details to figure out and it is, it is a difficult process. I don't think that we have any particular challenges that other states are not facing. And our goal here is to make sure that when we roll this benefit out, that it is taking into consideration all of the people who are eligible for it and that we are accurately providing benefits up front so that we do not have to rework um, the system as we move along. I believe strongly that our approach will deliver accurate benefits in a timely manner. And Commissioner Fortman said that she will announce next week when self-employed people can begin applying for benefits, but no timeline yet given for when those checks will actually start to be written. There are also no answers yet whether Maine's current stay-at-home order will be continued beyond next week when it's currently set to expire. Governor Mills said yesterday she, uh, she hasn't made up her mind on that yet, and we'll look to science and the health experts like Dr. Shaw for advice, and he too today was not ready to make a commitment. We really do need to make these decisions looking at the data, which are quickly evolving on a day-by-day -day basis. Earlier this week, we had a day where we only had eight cases, and then we had days where we had double digits and multiple individuals who passed away. It's really emblematic of how quickly this outbreak and any outbreak can change. And so thinking about what might be a particular policy position that would or would not be enacted even seven days from now, even though that's not a lot of time, is really challenging. Uh, our, my goal and my, my, my view is that we take a look at the data as they come in. There is no necessity for making a decision today about what we might do a week from now. And so we're looking at the data all the time on, an, on a constant basis, and I'm in close contact with the commissioner's office and the governor's office as we're spotting trends and as we're seeing changes. Dr. Shah speaking today. The governor has to decide by next Thursday. And incidentally, getting back to Labor Commissioner Fortman, if you want to hear all of her comments uh, made at today's briefing, and there were a lot of them about the unemployment issue, you can go to our News Center main website, click on the daily coronavirus blog, and the recording of the entire briefing will be there. Uh, Pat and Cindy, back to you. All right. Thanks very much, Don.